Nepal represents a blend of ancient history, vibrant culture and scenic grandeur. Various outstanding monuments of Nepal under different categories has been enlisted by UNESCO in its list of World Heritage Sites. In the cultural category, the seven monuments of Kathmandu Valley together come to this one and Lumbini are included. The Kathmandu Valley boasts of seven World Cultural Heritage Sites, namely Kathmandu Darba Square, Patan Darba Square and Bhaktapur Darba Square, two Hindu temples, Pashupati Nath and Changu Narayan, and two Buddhist stupas, Swayambhu Nath and Bodhanath. Nath. The Kathmandu Valley civilization is around 3,000 year old. It has been claimed the valley was a large pond in the early geological period. A bodhisattva called Manjusri came to the valley and cut the gorge in Chobhar with his flaming sword and drained the water out of the valley that made the valley ready for human settlement. Over the centuries, different dynasties that ruled the valley patronized an urban civilization with its rich cultural heritage. From 14th to 18th centuries, the valley's fabulous cities came to take shape in the form that we see it today. Kathmandu Darba Square. Located in the heart of the capital, Hanuman Dhoka Palace is an ancient seat of the Nepalese royalty. Various temples built in pagoda style and dedicated to different garden goddesses, the neoclassical buildings depicting Nepal's contact with the West in the second half of the 18th century, different palaces and other high-standing pagodas, Kumari Ghar, the house of living goddess, are among the several outstanding monuments of Kathmandu Darba Square. The city of arts Lalitpur is located some five kilometers south of Kathmandu, also known as Patan. The city was founded in the 3rd century AD. around the Durba Square area, most of them date back to the 16th to 18th century. The Jagat Narayan Temple is the oldest temple in the square. Krishna Temple, the first specimen of Shikhara style temple entirely made of stone, is the only temple in Nepal with 21 golden pinnacles. Bhaktapur, meaning the city of devotees, was found in 1197 AD and is located 12 kilometers east of Kathmandu. The structures in the Durba Square of the city were erected in 12th to 18th century AD. Golden Gate Temple, 55 Windows Palace, Yakcheswar Mahadev, Nyatapola Temple, the most famous pagoda of Nepal, are just a few to mention among other prominent monuments of the Durba Square. Spread out in a large area, Pashupatinath is one of the holiest sites for Hindus across the world. It is believed that pilgrimage to this most sacred abode of Shiva once in a lifetime will free them from any wrongdoings. Built in 1697 AD, Pashupatinath Temple is a pagoda style, has two tired golden roof with exquisitely carved four silver doors. Behind the temple on the banks of Bagmati is a crematorium for Hindus. Changu Narayan Situated on a small hillock north of Bhaktapur, commanding a fantastic view of Kathmandu Valley is the Changu Narayan, the temple of Lord Vishnu. An inscription in the premises of the temple dating back to 464 AD shows that Changu was already established as a sacred location in the 3rd century AD. The pagoda-style temple has several masterpieces of 5th and 12th century Nepalese art though the present structure was probably constructed in the 17th century, incorporating the older elements during restoration. Located on a little hillock at about 4 kilometers west of Kathmandu city, 2500 years old Swayambhunath monument is a holy site replete with symbols. The stupa has 360 steps leading all the way to the top. Thirteen steps of the ladder leading to Nirvana, the final salvation. Colorful flags bedeck the shrine. Bajradhatu Mandala, the gilt Bajra representing the sword of Manjushri. The five elements of life represented in the premise of the stupa are worth watching. 
The stupa of Baudanath stands over three tired platform rows over the crossed rectangles. It is located five kilometers east of Kathmandu city and is believed to have been built in the 5th century AD. There are 108 small niches around the dome of the stupa accommodating the icons of Buddhas. During Buddhist festivals, pilgrims gather to celebrate with great reverence to all Buddhist deities. Buddha was born at Lumbini in southern Nepal on a full moon day. The importance of Lumbini is testified by the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka, who visited Lumbini in order to pay homage to the great master and erected a pillar in 249 BC to indicate the birthplace of Buddha. The premises encompasses newly renovated Maya Devi temple housing the nativity sculpture dating back to the 3rd century BC to 7th century AD. Lumbini master plan was created and jointly approved by the government of Nepal and United Nations in 1978. There are different vihars and monasteries constructed by different countries here. Inclusion of these fabulous monuments in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites is a matter of pride, but these are only the glimpses of what Nepal has to offer to the connoisseur of art and culture to see, study and admire the fine arts in its painting, sculpture, wood carving and architecture. As Nepal presents an incomparable scope, do visit Nepal and unleash yourself again and again as once is not enough.